Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer files from an SD card over to a smartphone, specifically Android. I'm currently filming this on my Lumix G7X, so if the video quality is really good, let me know. It's probably better than my webcam, honestly. Um, it does a pretty good job tracking my face and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. I'm going to show you how to transfer these files. You're going to need one tool for this, and it's very cheap, and you can get it on Amazon. Okay, so this is the tool we're going to be looking at today. Um, it's called the SmartQ USB 2.0 uh, SD card transfer thing. Um, so what this does, and this is really neat, is that you can basically insert a SD card in here or an actual micro SD card in this little slot. So it gives you a lot of functionality, which is great, and I really appreciate that. So it comes with these rubber ends, which you can peel off here. Um, those won't break, trust me. Um, so here on this side we have the USB-A port which you can actually plug into a computer in order to transfer files from an SD card to a computer if your computer doesn't have an SD card reader, which mine doesn't, so I actually have to use this, which is a really useful tool. And then you can peel it back and it exposes a micro SD card, which is awesome. So you can plug this into an Android device if your Android device still uses micro USB. Most use USB-C these days, however, it gives you that functionality. So we're just going to cover that part up with the rubber thing, which is really nice. This thing is very sleek and it's very portable. On the other side, this is the really cool one, ladies and gentlemen. This is a USB-C port and this plugs into a lot of Android devices since most these days actually come with USB-C. Apple is probably going to be moving to USB-C in the future, so this is probably going to work for Apple phones uh, probably next year or maybe two years down the line, which is awesome as well. Um, they do sell versions of this on Amazon that have a lightning port if you want to transfer files via lightning, uh, so you can check that out. I would recommend it. But yeah, overall, this thing gets the job done, um, and I can show you a quick video of me actually transferring the files um, into my smart or to my smartphone. For that, I'm going to need to transfer over to my webcam because my camera currently uses my SD card reader. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration on how you actually transfer your files from this and this SD card reader to this a smartphone. This is very easy to do, and I'm just going to show you it in this video. I have a um, Galaxy S9, uh, so that's what we're going to be transferring the files over to. I have done this in the past, and it's very, very easy. You just plug the SD card into the side right there. Um, it only goes in one way, so you can't screw this up, which is great. I'm going to expose the USB-C part of this, and I obviously have a USB-C port on my smartphone. And first, I'm going to unlock my phone, actually. Plug in the device. And just give it a sec. It just wasn't showing up at first. But then I went into the Samsung Files app. Um, and you can do this on Apple and other Android devices have like a sort of Files app as well, where you can manage all your downloads and your system files. Um, but it shows up as USB Storage 1. As you can see there, USB storage one, you click on that. And then most SD card uh, SD cards store all the files under a folder called DCIM. So you just want to click that. And then mine shows up as 105 underscore slash Pana. As you can see right there, maybe you can't see it, but click on that. And now look at this. I now have access to the video that I played at the beginning of this video in full resolution so what you can do basically is say you're a photographer and you own an instagram and you want to transfer your files from your camera to your smartphone upload on instagram in good resolution obviously it's instagram's going to be compressing it and everything so he's not going to get the full full-fledged like picture quality but it gets the job done and it looks way better than if you were to just take this on a smartphone 
So that's basically it. And from here, you can also transfer this to your PC, as I mentioned earlier. This device is so underrated. And if you're into photography or videography and you want to transfer files really quickly without having to wait for stuff to um, upload to the internet, this requires no internet connection, no download speed, no upload speed, no nothing. This is just hardware transfer files, very easy. And it literally takes two seconds once your PC recognizes it or your smartphone recognizes it, it'll be uploaded instantly and you don't have to wait for an internet connection. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, go check out the College Made Easy podcast link down below. Also, you can cop some Life Made Easy merchandise always under the description of my videos if you wanna help support the channel. You can also become a channel member and get exclusive shout outs via that way. Also, once again, not wearing glasses, got LASIK eye surgery, um, and now I can see really clearly, which is great. So I will see you guys in the next video from Life Me Easy. Peace out, guys.